if I look at the spectrum of trading that you can do, uh, trade into investing, you know, you, you've obviously got passive investing, uh, yeah. then you've got buy and hold, then position trading, swing trading, um, what I call overnight trading, like where you're setting up a trade that you're going to hold overnight, but not more than that. So that's a little bit less than swing trading, day trading, and then scalping, right? And it obviously comes on a spectrum from, you know, the 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 least amount of work to the most amount of work, which is scalping. And, you know, I'm a, I would say I'm a B minus scalper. I, I'm, I'm pretty much profitable, but um, it takes a lot of work, right? I mean, in my best incarnation, I'm maybe an A minus uh, scalper, but I don't like scalping. And mm. uh, I found myself last week doing a lot of it um, coming out of the Fed. Uh, yep. I was scalping at night, I was scalping overnight Wednesday, which I almost never do. And it was crazy. Like at night, the NQ was, going 20 points at a clip overnight, which it never does. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I came out of last week with a, a really important realization. I think part of being a, a successful trader is always kind of checking in with yourself on a regular basis and, and reevaluating. Like it was a really bad week for me last week, stress wise. Right. Like, like I was, yes, I was scalping. Yes, I did. Okay. But like the trade-off was just not worth it. And, you know, Scalping is the stupidest way and the hardest way to make money, in my opinion. <laughs> Day trading, somewhat easier. Swing trading, much easier, right? Yeah. And position trading, the, the easiest. And if I had my choice uh, at my age, I would rather be position trading slash swing trading. But the markets don't always, you know, we have to be in the right market for that. So the yep. long answer to your question is, I have been be I have been more active the the last couple of weeks and last couple of months, but um, honestly, it has not been a pleasant experience. And mm. uh, so I had to kind of check in with myself and say, do I really want to be doing that? You know, like is it worth the money to to have that stress level? You know? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I think it, I I I, lo I love that approach, and I don't know that we talk enough about that, or you know, and I and this is obviously a personal personal choice, personal uh, decision, but this ties back to, you know, we started talking about crypto earlier. This was one of the realizations I very quickly came to with crypto trading is that, yes, there's a tremendous amount of volatility and opportunity on a day to day basis. But let's face the facts here. You know, we've got these nascent exchanges that are not as good and as powerful as traditional markets, right? There's no IBKR. I mean, yeah, we've got Coinbase, but like still that thing goes out every time you actually need to trade and you can't put sophisticated order types in there. Like it's a headache, right? And then it trades 24 seven. And then, you know, you add on all these risks, then you're worried about your money or a hack or you know, whatever. Um, it, you know, I, that was the, that was the, the equation I was looking at was like, okay, yeah, I could probably make some good money in this volatile new asset class, if you want to call it an asset class, but is it worth it? Is it worth staying up, being worried, stressing all the time? The answer I basically came to was no. And I try and just do less there and do a long-term trend following approach for like crypto things. But, um, I think your point's spot on and I appreciate the, the candidness of, of, of the toll and tax, taxing nature that markets can take on us. Hey, it's Evan here. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our full length interview. Don't forget, if you want to hear this entire episode with even more insights from our awesome guest, you can find it by searching the Smarter Trading Podcast in iTunes or on your favorite podcast app. You can also find all of the show notes for this episode by heading to thetraderisk.com forward slash podcast. Thanks for tuning in.